worshiping God in some in some fear and respect. Est-ce que vous adoriez Dieu avec crainte et respect? Uh, there is a knowledge that when you have a bad God, it completely changes you when you are in the presence of God. It completely changes you even when you're in your closet and praying to God. Last week we were talking about our respect for God. La semaine dernière nous parlions du respect. And uh, along the week, I, Sister Joy's friend came around and is a businessman. And, and he said, when people come to his office to propose to sell a product to him, if you come empty handed, he tells you you're not serious, leave. He tells you you're not serious, leave. He does what he says. You're not serious. Leave. He did that you're not serious. Part. And while I was talking, I was just imagining what we talked about last week. When he was talking, I was thinking about what we talked about last week. And I said, if we have given this so much respect to humanity, I said that we have given so much respect to humanity because of what we can receive from them. À cause de ce que nous pouvons recevoir de cela. How much respect are we going to give God? Quel respect allons-nous donner à Dieu? How much love are we going to show to God? Quel amour allons-nous montrer à Dieu? When we bring our services to him. Quand nous lui apportons nos services. In whatever form we will show him the best of love, the best of respect. Qu'importe la forme, nous devons lui montrer le meilleur As amour, le meilleur respect. As we into the word of God this evening. Nous entrons dans la parole de Dieu. I keep praying that God transforms from our thoughts about who he truly is to us. Je continue à prier que Dieu transforme notre mentalité. Because that is in that area that you would enjoy God the most. Parce que c'est seulement ainsi que vous allez profiter le plus de Dieu. When you understand who he is. Quand vous comprenez qui il est. My God, I pray that you shall speak to us again. May your Holy Spirit who is the teacher teach us your word this evening in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus uh, a mother called me from Canada that was on Tuesday she said pastor when you when you said that uh, you vowed to, when we vow to God and refuse to pay we look like fools before God Que lorsque nous faisons des promesses à Dieu, nous refusons de les payer, nous sommes comme des stupides devant Dieu. It was like Dieu. God was talking to me. Elle a dit que c'était comme si Dieu lui parlait. I said, what happened to you, Mama? Je lui ai dit, Mama, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? He said, since uh, early January, I pick up a job. I was doing probation, internship. Elle a eu un emploi. Right? Elle était encore à l'essai. And she said, uh, since it was a very beautiful job. Elle a dit plus que c'était un très bel emploi. She said, I promise God that as I'm doing this uh, probation. Elle a, elle a promis à Dieu comme elle fait cette. This what I'll use my money to do for him. Et voici ce qu'elle va elle va faire avec elle. And she said immediately she started doing the probation. Elle dit immédiatement après avoir commencé le probation. Expenses became more than the money. Que ses dépenses dépassaient maintenant l'argent. So she made a new deal with God. Donc elle a fait une nouvelle promesse à Dieu. That when she finally signs her contract. Quand elle signe elle signera finalement son contrat. God should just wait she would fulfill the vow. Dieu doit attendre à ce moment là elle va. And she said two months passed. Elle dit deux mois sont passés. Et on lui a signé le contrat. So she's been working throughout maybe three months later. Elle a travaillé peut-être trois mois. And she realized that her bills were always more than. Et elle a réalisé que ses factures étaient toujours supérieures à l'argent, qu'importe comment le travail était magnifique. And Whatever happened, she said some crazy thing happened. She lost the job. Elle a dit des choses sont produites. Elle a perdu le travail. And when she was travail. listening to Ecclesiastes that says that when you Elle promise God dit, and do not do it, quand vous faites une be careful Dieu, because, because respect, the works of attention. your hands will be cursed. Parce que le travail de vos mains sera maudit. She said she burst into cry because. 
she realized that she used her mouth to curse her life. The Bible says when you come before God, don't be in a hurry to talk. La Bible dit quand vous venez devant Dieu, ne soyez pas pressé de parler. You know, my brother told me yesterday that pastor, the way God has transformed your life, I need, he needs to pray harder. Mon frère m'a dit hier que pasteur, la manière dont Dieu a transformé ta vie, tu dois prier plus fort. It's not the problem of praying harder. Je lui ai dit que ce n'est pas un problème de prier plus. It's the problem of listening well. Je lui ai dit que ça, il faut écouter. Because we have ended up praying harder. Parce que nous finissons par prier As if we are the one instructing God to go and do something for us. nous sommes ceux-là qui instruisent Dieu à faire quelque chose. pray harder, we leave without hearing prier, what he has to say. On part sans écouter ce qu'il a à dire. And that's why we keep having difficulties. C'est la raison pour laquelle nous avons toujours des difficultés. I said, brother, it's not about praying harder. J'ai dit, frère, cela n'est pas about seulement la prière. Listening and actively applying what the Lord says. Il faut aussi écouter that changes et faire your life. exactement ce que Dieu dit. She said, Pastor, I'm going to obey the vow I made to the church I made. I said, why? She said, Pastor, not because I want back my job. But because I realized that I'm a fool to think I can outsmart God. She says, and I pray that God forgives me. I said, when you go and honor the vow, you would feel that God has forgiven you. La promesse, va penser que and she went and did what she had to do. Et elle a fait ce qu'elle devait faire. And when she called me yesterday, she said, Pastor, Quand I felt hier, some peace. Elle a dit, Pastor, je ressens une paix. Some peace that that job didn't even give me. Une paix que cet emploi ne m'a même pas donné. And she said, though instantly I've been called for another job. Elle dit, bien que instantanément, j'ai été appelé pour un autre emploi. I did not obey that vow because I was looking for another job. Je n'ai pas obéi à she ce vœu parce que je cherchais un autre emploi. She said, I obeyed it because I realized I was being stupid to think I can out smart God. I've told you many times and I keep telling you that we have nothing that God needs. But David says God's discipline is painful but it's good because it trains us to become who God wants us to be. God doesn't discipline you like your enemy who disciplines you to destroy you. God disciplines you like a carpenter who chops a wood to bring out beauty. That's the difference. That's the reason you and I must love and learn to fear God. Look at what Psalm 33 says. Verse 6 says, Everyone in the war fear the Lord and let everyone stand in awe of him. Let everyone, not some people, everyone fears the Lord. And he tries to give us some reasons why we must fear God. He says, verse 6, the Lord merely spoke and the heavens were created. The Lord merely spoke and the heavens were created. He broke the word and all the stars were born. So if you do not know why you should fear and respect God, it it was by his word alone that the entire world was created. So if you... I will do car example like I always do. You go to Mercedes company and the manager speaks. Mercedes 2025 appear. And in five seconds it appears. You must be scared of such a person. That is what God has done. By his word, he created everything we see. We have to fear him. It says that the plan of God stands forever, verse 11, and his intentions cannot be shaken. When I read the scripture, I thought of Abraham. I had a chat with a friend this morning and we were talking about Abraham. And the friend said, Abraham's son Ishmael was cursed and that is why we have Muslims. And I said, 
I don't know where it is written in scriptures. Et j'ai dit que je ne sais pas où c'est écrit dans la parole. Let me know because the si Bible voyez, is really big. Si tu vois cela, tu dois me montrer parce que la Bible uh, But the one I saw which we discussed was um, que vu, Genesis 17. Discuté, when God was 7. talking to Abraham. Quand Dieu parlait à Abraham. Verse 15 says. Verse 15 dit the Lord said to Abraham, Sarah, your wife, her name will no longer be Sarah. From now onward, she will be Sarah. You can English people. And I will bless her and give a son for her. Yes, I will bless her richly and she will become the mother of many nations. Kings will be among her descendants. Now, Abraham bowed down to the ground, but he laughed to himself in disbelief. How could I become a father at the age of 100? He wondered. Besides, Sarah is 90 and could only have a baby. It's not possible. And Abraham said to God, yes, Ishmael may enjoy your blessings. Now, this state Abraham is, is complete hopelessness. Because he is telling God that, please, I know you prepared a blessing for my son Isaac, but please give it to Ishmael because Isaac will not come. Do you understand? He is completely hopeless. He is trying to help God. I was just wondering about the love of God, how God's love overcomes our unbelief. Je pensais à l'amour de Dieu comme cet Now, amour est au-dessus de notre incrédulité. Now Abraham has completely given up about that boy called Isaac who is yet to come. Ici Abraham a perdu espoir sur ce jeune homme Isaac qui n'est pas encore That is why he is proposing to God. C'est la raison pour laquelle that il propose please, à Dieu. That the blessings you have si plaît, les bénédictions for que tu Isaac, as pour Isaac just give to Ishmael. Let's forget the Isaac story. Ishmael, oublions for anybody to start advising God means that your state of being is complete hopelessness. Uh, I was thinking God would say okay. Since that is what you want. But God said Sarah your wife will bear you a son. You would name him Isaac, and I'll confirm my everlasting covenant with him. As for Ishmael, I will bless him just as I have said. I will cause him to multiply greatly. So I know God blessed Ishmael. But he says that Sarah will bear a son this same time next year. And the Bible says Sarah did bear that son. Il a dit que Sarah enfantera en même moment l'année prochaine. So 11 says that. The plans of God stands firm forever. His intentions cannot be thwarted. The plans of God overcomes our unbelief. Why? Because God's name is so great that he cannot dishonor his name because of human unbelief or mistake. If our mistakes could destroy God's plan for our lives, then this war is more than God to control. Because all of us Keep making mistakes every day. But when God has spoken a word over your life, what he does is he brings everything together for good. For those who believe in him. And remember, he did not say every good thing together. He said everything for good. This everything means bad and good things. God brings them for good for his name's sake. The Lord told me that a lot of us have hopeless situations in our lives. That is why he asked me to do what I'm doing today. It might be hopelessness about a child. 
It might be hopelessness about your life. Ça peut être un désespoir concernant votre vie. It might be hopelessness about your partner in a relationship. Ça peut être un désespoir concernant votre partenaire dans une relation. And uh, you might have counted all the mistakes and. Uh, vous avez peut-être compté les erreurs. Thought that that is all for you. Et pensez que c'est tout pour vous. But the plans of God. Mais les plans de Dieu. Are firm forever. Perdure à toujours. He shatters the plans of nation and thwarts all of your schemes. Now, God goes against the government. He goes against the war leaders Maintenant, to fulfill a purpose he has set for our lives. Pour accomplir le but de nos vies. I want us to find rest in Je God. Je que nous ayons le repos en Dieu. 16 says the best equipped Verset army 16. cannot save a king nor a great or great enough strength can save warrior don't count on your war horse to give you victory for all his strength it cannot save you if i ask you that where have you placed your security now si je vous demande maintenant où vous avez placé votre sécurité where have you placed your future happiness où est-ce que vous avez placé votre it joie future either in money serait sûrement for sur l'argent those of us who are looking for the money pour ceux d'entre nous qui recherchent l'argent just say l'argent. if i hit this mark of money in my life Et si j'ai cette somme d'argent dans ma I will vie, be secure. Je serai en sécurité. But look at what God says. Mais écoutez ce que the Dieu most dit. equipped army in the war que l'armée la plus équipée dans le monde save a king. ne peut pas sauver un roi. So the most guarded president in the world C'est right le, now le président le plus gardé dans le monde is only saved because God is not against parce que him. Dieu n'est pas contre lui. If God chooses to be against him, si d'être lui, then they will only read the story of Nebuchadnezzar to him after God has dealt with him. De so if God tells us that Dieu everybody must appeler. fear him, he's including the kings. Quand Dieu dit que tout le monde doit le craindre, that AU kings, you are not safe. Que toi, roi, sache que tu n'es pas en you presidents, you are not safe because I, God, I destroy the plans of nations. That is the God we serve. C'est le Dieu que nous servons. And I've told you that when the search of money occupies our head, that's what makes pensée, us to lose value in this God we serve. It makes us nous to nous completely serve. forget how nous great he is. And then we begin to serve him for physical rewards. Meanwhile, you don't need God to have physical rewards. You don't need him. He is so good that he has blessed humanity with everything. You do not need God to have physical success. You need God for your soul to be saved from destruction. That thing that no amount of money can do. We have problems in our lives as we are seated here. In our families as we are seated here. That we know that if they give us money it will only increase the problem si on nous donne de l'argent ça va seulement ajouter nos problèmes that we know that is only god nous savons que that c'est seulement can fix such problems peut régler de tels problèmes that is why we all c'est la raison pour must laquelle nous, tous, god. nous devons craindre dieu we must fear god nous devons craindre dieu i've given you a couple of reasons here we must fear god and we must find rest in god just always struggle to catch one word from god he doesn't need to come and talk to you in your sleep before you know he has spoken to you he has spoken to you today that his plans stands forever when we watch and look at the life of Jesus you see something will happen it will say just like the scripture had spoken just like the script Judas will sell him just like the scripture had spoken so Jesus uh, Judas was just a victim of the scriptures 
Donc Judas était juste une victime de la parole. They will crucify him between two thieves, just like the scripture had spoken. So those two thieves were there to fulfill scripture. Hannah was in the temple where Jesus was born. And there was a prophet there who was waiting to bless Jesus and die. And when he saw Jesus, he said, thank God, let me bless this boy and die. Jésus, il a dit que je he was kept alive by God until Jesus will be born, just Jésus like the scripture had spoken. The Bible says they did not break any of his legs. When they went to break his leg, he was already dead. So there was no need to destroy the leg again. Just like the scripture had spoken that none of his bones will be broken. He rose from the dead. His body did not rot in the grave. Just like the scripture had spoken that none of his bones will get destroyed in the grave. If God has spoken, you must have rest in that world. For 18 says the Lord watches over all of those who fear him. Those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We would depend on God alone to save us. Only Him can help us. Only Him can protect us. In Him our hearts will rejoice. Hallelujah. Amen. Our everything is dependent on God. If you have ever had a wrong motive for saving God, if you're only waiting to be happy when God does this and that for you, it's disrespect. Because now you are making a vow to God that God, when you do this now for me, I'll be happy. And now he does it. And you were happy just for two weeks. It means you have taken God for a fool. Now you have given him a new task. God, if you do this again for me, I'll be happy. No, because he loves you, Parce qu'il vous aime, he keeps doing it. Il continue à le faire. And you keep taking him for a fool. Vous continue à le prendre pour un idiot. Because you keep making vows you can't Parce respect. Vous à faire des que vous pouvez pas respecter. All you need to do is ask him to forgive you. Ce que vous devez faire, c'est lui demander de vous pardonner. For Psalms 32 says this. What a joy for those whose rebellion is forgiven. Yes, what joy for those whose record has been cleansed of sin. Whose lives are in complete honesty. Hear what he says. Verse 3, Psalms 32. When I refused to confess my sin, I was weak and miserable. Remember, this is not an unbeliever writing. This is a child of God. I groan all day long. And 5 says, Finally, I confess all my sins to you. And stop trying to hide them. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord and you forgive me of all my guilt. How did David find peace? By receiving the forgiveness of God. You and I in our daily walk only find peace. By receiving God's forgiveness. If you don't know Christ, you only find peace by coming to him and receiving his forgiveness for your uncountable sins. 
de pardon pour And before you péchés. continue giving God new tasks on when you will be happy. Au lieu de continuer à donner des tâches à Dieu, pensant que ça va être heureux. Ask him to give you for first of all lying to him. Avant de le faire, demandez-lui de vous pardonner. For the things you asked him and he gave you. Pour les choses que vous lui avez demandé. Until now you are not still happy. Jusqu'au jour où vous n'êtes toujours pas content. He says it's a stupidness to think. That excess money will make you happy. That's what scripture says. This is stupidness. So I've made my conclusion. Excess money will not make me happy. So let me just get happy. Hallelujah. Let me just get happy. And I pray for all of us that we fear God. We love Him. We be happy in Him. For if He told Abraham that though you don't believe me, Abraham, but because of my love for you, everything I've said about your life, I will do it. The same thing He would do for you. He will use the bad things in your life. He will use the odd moments. He will use your failures. He will use the bandits. He will bring all of them together. And he will beautify your life. For he makes everything beautiful in its time. That is it. So your life has a beauty. It has its time. That should give you enough peace to calm down. Hallelujah. Mighty God, I thank you for you would use all the bad things in our lives to bring goodness into our lives. The bad things include sickness. The bad things include those we have lost. The bad things include poverty. The bad things include abuse. The bad things include rejection. The bad things, oh God, includes every theft that has happened to us. We thank you for you have the power of bringing every bad thing to goodness in our lives. We thank you for you have the power of subjecting the governments, the world leaders, O oh God, to make your plan to come true for our lives. We thank you, O oh God, for you are the most powerful God. And you say safety is there for those who you are their Lord. This day we know you are our Lord. We go home, relax, and happy. For we know you are taking proper care of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to raise our hands up to heaven. Thank God for this beautiful day. Thank him that you are amongst the living who have a chance to be a child of God. Thank him that you are able to sit down and listen to his word. Mighty God, we thank you for our lives. I thank you for the life of my brother and my sister who are part of this wonderful Savior's Testament. I thank you for you saying you draw men unto you, meaning you draw all of us unto you. I pray that the blessings that you give in our lives shall extend to every family. I use everyone that is here and listening to your word as a point to connect them to their various families. That as they receive your word and healing power, it shall transmit to their families. For you say, me and my household will be safe. I pray that everyone here and their household shall have a chance to be blessed by what they are being blessed with. For that will give us a happiness that money cannot give us. 
I pray that, oh God, the couples, oh God, who are suffering from heart attacks from their partners, you that changes the heart of kings, I pray that you shall reach out to their wives, you shall reach out to your husbands and renew, oh God, your hearts. I pray for our children, oh God, those that are going astray, oh God, those that have been destroyed by the war, oh God. Father, you alone who can destroy the plans of nations, I pray you shall grab those kids wherever they are, oh God, and open your eyes to see the destruction that is coming to their lives, and they shall rush back to you. Mary God, I pray for those our friends that we cannot speak to them. That you shall create a scenario that will make them listen to your word that has come to change their lives. For everyone is astray, O oh God, not knowing where to get help from. But I pray that all of us shall be like that house girl that was in the house of Naaman who told him that there is a God that can help you. Help us to tell those people that we know that are suffering. Make our mouths to be bold to speak of your word to them. That there is a God that can help them. Father, in as much as we work day and night for little commissions, I pray that, oh God, you shall cause all of us to work day and night to save souls for your glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For we are certain that every word you have said for our lives will come to pass. We therefore go home happy. For our children will serve you in the mighty name of Jesus. We go home happy for our spouses will serve you in the mighty name of Jesus. We go on happy, oh God, for our unbeliefs will not stop every plan you have for our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We go home happy for the government will not stop every plan you have for our lives. We go home in total security. In the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus.